what is up guys my name is nick and welcome back to another fortnite video guys now this one is cool we're going to be talking about seven new map locations that we may actually be getting in season five which is going to be really really cool now guys before we get into this video i just want to say i'm hosting a five thousand v buck giveaways so if you guys want to enter into that make sure to leave a comment down below just write anything you want to just say me if you want even and then make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on and you guys will be entered into this draw i'm going to be picking a winner very very soon and guys i want to do this more often i want to do a lot more giveaways guys like i i just i want to do it man it's, just, it's so fun to do it's so fun to give back but anyways guys before we get into this i might also give away 10 battle passes i'm not sure yet but for season five i I want to plan something big may do that as well So make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications turned on and comment everywhere guys You guys will have way more chances and hopefully you guys win it That's gonna be pretty insane now guys. These are pretty cool There's a lot of new map location concepts and they look really good and one of them Fortnite is even thinking of bringing into the game itself So that just tells me that if these concepts get popular enough guys We may actually see every single one in the game now. We know Fortnite They change the map all the time bring in new things get rid of old things that don't work anymore and it's just weird to think that this map once never had tilted towers and tilted towers is a new location that's very very iconic right now so I, I wonder what they could do with the map next and I feel like they should get rid of like lucky landings and maybe I don't know it, it, there's nothing really going on in lucky landings so I, I don't see anything any reason for that to be there and junk junction as well is kind of a wasted space I'm sorry if you guys land there all the time but it really is so let's get into these guys the first concept I want to talk about and this this is the one that a leaker, a famous leaker for Fortnite actually said might be coming in the game and he's been pretty right with most of his leaks so far and that is Musty Museum. So pretty much what Musty Museum is, it's going to be an area where you walk in, obviously the building is a museum or something like that and they show all the old weapons that they used to have in the game like the the homing missile rocket launcher, if you guys remember the one where you, you were able to guide it, the guiding rocket launcher, that's going to be in the museum, they're going to show old locations maybe like Dusty Depot before was hit it could be very historical it could show all the new players what happened what was in the game and what wasn't and even like those uh suppressed smgs like the blue one and all that kind of stuff they could show a whole bunch of pretty cool stuff within the museum that i would like to see and who knows maybe shopping carts will be there that's unfortunate i miss those already man they were only in the game for like a week they were so good they were so fun going on to the next one guys this is in Dusty Depot, so we all know a crater hit it, and after a crater hits, if it collects with water, that is pretty cool, and so far, Dusty Depot doesn't look like, or I should, sorry, I, I shouldn't say Dusty Depot, I should say Dusty Divot, looks like it's like, it's getting a little boring, I wonder what they could do there, they should add water, and it's gonna be called Dusty Docks, if this gets popular enough, it's pretty popular, a lot of people are already talking about this, and it just looks great, there's gonna be like a beach on one end, there's going to be docks on one end that are kind of like regular looking wooden docks and then a very modern looking dock all the way on the other end and it just it looks really cool we only have one island technically and uh yeah dude, no no one really lands there no one really goes there i mean i do once in a while but it's beside tilted towers it's a mess it's crazy so this would be cool right in the middle of the map some water area and i think that would look pretty damn awesome and i can't wait to see if that actually makes it into the game another one i want to talk about and this one is super cool so this is just one location on the map this is tricky tracks that's the nickname i gave it it's a train track that goes across the map as you can see right here guys this concept is amazing this this concept looks really really damn good so Pretty much, you get into a train and it goes across the entire map. You could start anywhere you want. There's four stops. One of them is at Fatal Fields. So we'll use that for example. You get onto the train at Fatal Fields. It moves around the map. It goes through the tunnel and it goes under a mountain technically. And then you make it all the way out towards the container yard. So the containers, it's kind of dead there. But if they bring a train track, it can kind of bring more people. And then from there, the next stop is a little scary because it's usually packed with people. But you take the train out you go all the way down to Pleasant Park you go through the mountain again you go in the mountain and then you're in Pleasant Park you can get off or you can stay on the train if you stay on be careful because there is
is going to be people hopping on the train as well. And then we make our way all the way down to the last stop, which is all the way at Shifty Shafts. And that's pretty cool. There's already like rail tracks in there and stuff. It looks pretty awesome. And then you go through that tunnel again to make it all the way back to where you started at Fatal Fields. This looks awesome. And if they bring this into the game, that would just be dope. The only downside I see to this is if you're actually in the train and let's say, for example, you get on at Fatal Fields, but then the storm is closed in halfway through the map and there's no exit on the train. So the train's going to go into the storm. I don't know if you'll be safe in the train. I don't know what's going to happen, but... That, that's pretty scary. I don't want to see myself in that position. Another concept, guys, is a pretty cool one, and this is the 1v1 Island. Now, 1v1 Island is a place to host private matches, and it's very symmetrical. Every side looks the same, and the players all get a loot llama, they all get shield, but the shield is random. They could get a mini shield, they could get a big shield, or they could get the big old chug jug, which is pretty cool. They get a grenade, a boogie bomb, impulse, clinger, or an actual grenade, one shotgun, which is again, any shotgun, one AR, and one special weapon, like an LMG, or, or a Deagle, or anything like that, and one trap, and the trap could be anything. It could be a, a jump pad, a launch pad, a campfire, and the storm starts to move in right away so you have 30 seconds to make it to the middle this forces the 1v1 to get serious but you have like 500 masks so don't worry if you're a great builder you will do good so this one looks really cool i kind of like this and if this was actually in the game they, they might actually do it because they were mentioning private matches and imagine a private match on the the, the gigantic map if for a 1v1 there's no way that's going to be possible so if they actually bring this concept in which is going to be very easy to make it would make for a very dope 1v1 going on to another one guys this is a brand new island like a whole entire brand new island and it hosts the musty museum which is pretty cool if you ask me but besides that it also has a resort a rusty resort which is a very nice area kind of like for vacationing and stuff like that and then mysterious mountains i don't know what's going to happen in mysterious mountains but it looks pretty cool. Now you could either build your way back onto the mainland or you could take the two natural bridges, one all the way on the bottom and one towards the north side of the island. And I, I really think that this is a pretty cool idea. This could bring the storm into brand new areas. The storm never really ends in Greasy Grove. I, I don't think I ever had a Greasy Grove ending, but with this island attachment, it, it just fits guys it, it looks really good but we're not going to stop there guys there's so many more things that they might actually be bringing into the game and another one that i really want to talk about this one like this one makes me happy and that is pirate paradise pirate paradise this one looks really really cool you guys saw the thumbnail the concept looks great and i don't know man it just looks pretty awesome so it's all the way right where that new area on the map was going to be where we actually saw that now i'm going to say i'm not a big fan of the location but again, this is a concept. They could choose to put this where they want. They could even put Pirate Paradise where the dusty crater is at the moment and make that look pretty damn awesome. But Pirate Paradise is a place. It's a beautiful beach. You get off and there's pirate ships. There's a whole bunch of stuff and it's in the water. Now, I don't know if this is going to bring drivable stuff within the water so you could get around the sides of the map to sneak up on people like that. But this one looks really cool. This one excites me a lot because I don't know why, man. I just, I like pirates a lot and I like paradise areas a lot. And if this could actually be an area, a new point of interest within Fortnite, that would be actually amazing. Now, let me guys know down in the comments below, which area gives you the most goosebumps? Which one are you most excited for? Mine has to be Pirate Paradise. Like if this actually comes into the game and we all know the Fortnite Epic Games, they listen to the fans. They're, they're the best gaming studio there is. They're, they might actually bring all all of these things in like orange justice that was just a kid dancing for fun and they brought it into the game there's a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch of concepts that they're bringing in the game that the fans make and i think this is really cool and i really honest to god cannot wait to see it but anyways guys if you made it this far into the video make sure to write haha -ha down in the comments below it really messes with everyone who doesn't make it to this far in the video and i feel like we're our own special little club us guys right here man when we write haha -ha in the comments everyone they don't know what's going on and unless they watch the entire video they'll never have an idea and they act and, and people just like they rage i don't know it's just funny to read the comments it's funny to see people saying what is all this haha -ha stuff but anyways guys subscribe to the channel if you guys want to be entered into that v buck giveaway make sure to leave a like and comment down below guys turn on those notifications and we're going to be giving away 5,000 v bucks my name is nick thank you guys so much for watching this video you guys are awesome and thank you for all the support lately and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace